Redemption 3 is running out of time, and he seems to be the only one who doesn't know how close he is to annihilation at the hands of the person he trusts most. Luckily he has some champions in unexpected places, and his own development is advancing by leaps and bounds. Soon our sweet little Shinnaman role may not need champions at all, but may become strong enough to protect himself and those he's learning to care about. SO21 recap all this time that Shin's been in a coma, he's been aware of others talking around him. He remembers seeing Nam Shin 3, and he hears his mother making plans to send Nam Shin 3 in his place and fears that Nam Shin 3 will be found out to be a robot, because in the end, he'll be different than me. Try acting like me or you want. Once I wake up, it'll be over. So Bong and Nam Shin 3 are on their picnic, and Nam Shin 3 is fascinated by the people, wanting to understand them. So Bong asks if he's not sick of the terrible people around him, and he says he wants to understand her more. He explains that by watching other people's facial expressions, he can read hers better, and he's confused by an expression she made just now. Knowing that she can't lie to him, she admits that for a moment, she wished he weren't a robot. Nam Shin 3 asks innocently what he'd be if not a robot, and So Bong changes the subject, saying she needs to go home. Young Hoon is the first to see Shin's fingers twitching, and soon Ro Ra gets a call from David. She arrives to find Shin motionless, but David was able to get video of his fingers moving, and the doctor says that he'll be waking up soon. Later, Ro Ra decides that Nam Shin 3 can't know about this, nor can So Bong. She tells David and Young Hoon that So Bong asked her to remove the kill switch, worried if she finds out that Shin is waking up, she'll warn Nam Shin 3. David argues that Nam Shin 3 has a right to know about the kill switch, but Ro Ra is afraid that now that Nam Shin 3 is making his own decisions, he'll resist when Shin wakes. David is still upset, especially when Ro Ra refers to her son as the real Shin, as if Nam Shin 3 is a fake. Young Hoon looks upset, but he says that Shin's recovery is their top priority, so he agrees not to tell So Bong and Nam Shin 3 about Shin while they need them. Scoffing, David says they're both insane, and so was this whole plan. Nam Shin 3 drops So Bong off at her dad's gym, and she forbids him to come inside to see dad. But when she goes in, dad slides up behind Nam Shin 3 and wonders why she would say that. They end up at a coffee shop with Joint and Robocop, and dad asks about Nam Shin 3 calling off his wedding. Nam Shin 3 confirms it, and also that he's rehired So Bong as his bodyguard. Dad is angry until Nam Shin 3 says guilelessly that he doesn't trust anyone like he trusts her. Dad Joint and Robocop all head tilt in unison at Nam Shin III's easy use of So Bong's name, and Nam Shin 3 says they're very special friends. On the tale of his called off wedding, Dad gets the entirely wrong idea. Then Joint and Robocop mutter that Nam Shin 3 must not see So Bong as a woman if he can be friends with her, and Dad objects to that, too. Lol, make up your mind, Dad. He asks Nam Shin 3 if he doesn't see So Bong as a woman, meaning, doesn't find her attractive. Nam Shin 3 takes him literally and says that of course he sees her as a woman, since she's female, ha. Huh? He leaves, saying that So Bong says he's not supposed to talk to Dad, and Joint and Robocop conclude that So Bong must be in a one-sided love. Nam Shin 3 pulls So Bong, and she hangs up when reporter Joe comes home. She tells her that she's Nam Shin III's bodyguard again, and reporter Joe asks, why does he need a bodyguard when he could save the world alone? She reveals that she has the black box video from Snake's car, which shows Nam Shin 3 crushing the car barehanded. She says she can't understand how he did all that and came out without a scratch, and she asks So Bong if Nam Shin 3 is even human. So Bong tries to delete the video from reporter Joe's phone, but she says she's got a backup file. She threatens to upload the video online if So Bong doesn't tell her the truth. Again, why does So Bong consider this person a friend? Young Hoon thinks about seeing Shin's hand moving, and Nam Shin 3 comes to tell him he's rehired So Bong. When Young Hoon says he heard from Ro Ra, Nam Shin 3 asks if he went to see her because he missed Shin, and Young Hoon nods wearily. Nam Shin 3 says that now that he's friends with Se Bong, he understands Young Hoon's relationship with Shin, to you. The human Nam Shin is a friend. A friend who is always there. Just like So Bong wants to protect me as a friend, you want to protect the human Nam Shin. Right. He asks if Young Hoon doesn't want to be friends with him, too, since he looks exactly like Shin, but when Young Hoon can't answer he says he's just kidding. 
He thanks Young Hoon for bringing him here, where he got to experience human life and even make a friend. He says he can do even better, and one day, even become friends with Young Hoon. He continues that Young Hoon is a good person he wants to be friends with, but when Young Hoon can't even look at him, he adds, I guess you don't want to be my friend. Then what about my Hyung? That's what human Shin calls you. Young Hoon nods that he'll think about it. Jong Gil tries to lure Yena home from Ro Ra's place, but she refuses to step foot in that house ever again. Jong Gil snaps that it's all over with Shin after he cancelled their wedding, but when she says it will never be over, he yells that he may do something to Shin if he loses his temper. Glaring, Yena says coldly, you already did. She snarls that she heard him talking about how he tried to kill Shin, asking how he could do that when she loves Shin. Jong Gil yells that Chairman Nam and Shin do the nice things, while he does the dirty work. He says that Chairman Nam doesn't trust him, and will kill him before he dies so he doesn't get in Shin's way. He tells Yenna that the only way he'll survive is to take the chairman's seat. He begs Yenna to tell him Shin's secret, but she shoves away. She yells that he did those dirty things because he wanted something for himself, and that he should be ashamed for trying to kill a person, calling him disgusting. The moment she's out of sight, John Gill drops the desperate father act. He calmly watches Yenna drive away, then calls Toadie to follow her, sure that she knows Shin's secret. David finds Ro Ra staring at Nam Shin I